Confirm payment. Are we doing this? You're on your own. No, you gotta do it with me. Eh. Oh my gosh, we just bought a cow. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> okay, we bought a cow yesterday and she is coming Monday. Today is Thursday. We're not currently set up for a cow. So we've got three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because we don't work on Sunday, to get everything settled and ready for our cow coming on Monday. We're excited. Let's go see what Nathan is doing. So we're thinking about putting the barn here, maybe a 12 by 12 barn, seven foot offset from the fence. But that's the plan right now. So I just cleared it and I'm gonna make a plan to dig some holes and get some wood and then build a little barn thingy. Mom's really worried because we're getting it on Monday and we don't have that much time to build the barn and the fencing. Okay, so I just went to the stores, the mini stores, to try and find the stuff we need for our first cow. And since we don't have a truck, this is what we carry things in. Brush. Oh, you're still filming? Hello. I've got a clipboard. I'm sketching plans for the new barn. Thinking of a 12 by 12 barn. It'll look like the chicken coop. Not like this barn. This is a shed. The coop looks like a shed and the barn look shed looks like a barn and the barn will look like a shed. Because that's how it works. Well, we had to move the cow barn because it was too close to the neighbors. So I says to myself, well, where are we going to put it? And, I, and then my wife says, we'll put it by the drain field. So here we are next to the drain field. Here's the drain field and here's the barn. So hopefully it ain't too close. But even if it is a little close, we drink the milk and we have diarrhea and it comes up to the drain field and then it goes into the grass and the cow eats the grass and then they make the milk and we drink the milk and it gives us diarrhea. And I think that's why they call it the circle of life because it just goes like that. So we'll see how it works here. Well, it's the end of day one. And so far we have a plan. We kind of have a location, even though the location changed. And we have lots of stuff. Yesterday, this time, we had the nutting. Uh, but today, we have uh, the hay and the jars and the food and the water hoses and lots of lumber and uh, lots of the, uh, the, the roofing and the, the siding. Uh, and it will be good. Tomorrow and Saturday, we, we build. Uh, today, we buy stuff. Tomorrow, we build it. And then, they, if we build it, they will come. Well, it rained last night. The good news is the wildlife likes all our materials, so that's good. <clears throat> and the cows will like it too. We have the holes laid out. We rented an auger. We're gonna drill the holes and try and set the post in the next hour. And that one's cemented already with dirt on top. And so we just need to cement it and put some dirt over it and then start working on the roof frame and keep going. Go, keep, 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 keep. Mm -hmm. Looks like a barn. We are putting up our fencing for the cow corral so that she has a safe place to be able to get used to us and living here. So I'm just putting in posts and then we'll do some electric fencing. I'm mixing up the cement so we can put it in um the in the holes. And um, after the holes are filled, we're gonna put the dirt around it on top of it all, and we're hoping that it'll all stay. And this is harder than I expected. Okay, so Nathan is trying to figure out the angle for the roof of the, On the barn. barn. Of the barn. End of day two. Electric fence is gone. We've got all of the fence of the corral strung and got our gate up. Never mind that it's not quite straight. You realize we needed three of the swingy things, but then we have two, so we're gonna do this for now. And I'm proud of myself. I've never done anything like that before. 
and Nathan continues to work on. And we'll probably set up a shop light and work into the night. But good job, me, right? Yes. It's the start of day three. That's how much we did in the second day. Day one, we bought all the materials and came up with the plan. On day two, we got that far with the fence. Today, we'll finish. All right, it's about 10.30 on day three, and the roof, is, all the boards are ready to go for the roof. Everything's screwed in. We've got the cuts, they're all notched together. It should be pretty good. I think it's pretty strong. We're taking a lunch break. Nathan's been working hard all morning long. And here's what we got. Looking good. So the next step is getting up some roofing and um, some supports in the walls and putting on the siding. And then we'll come back later and we'll put cross braces in and some more supports um, posts inside uh, to make it more strong for the cow coming in and leaning against it. But it's taking shape and we should have a shelter ready for her when she gets here. What are you doing up there? Screwing in the last roof panel. It looks pretty bad, but I've been told that it doesn't matter and that it will work just fine. <laughs> But it's really ugly. It really is not. It looks good. It's really ugly from up here. We've got the beer panels to let in some light. That'll be nice. Okay, we have gotten to the point where the roof is on and Nathan is working on the support structure and starting to put the siding on. So, this is nice. It's done a great job. Hey! Hey! So here, Dad's building the um, barn. Dad's working on the roof right now. Clear plastic so there could be light in it. And this is a support. And when you see this, it's where the window is supposed to be put. If you throw a stick at the wire, it will start a fire. Cause this is a shocking wire, and if you touch it, it will shock you. And so we're getting a cow, and we're, we're all really excited. And that's all. If the cow like um touches the fence, it will shock her, but she'll still be okay. She will go back and then tell the others. To not to, and um, so. All right, it's 8.30 in the evening. We've got the roof on, and most of the side framework, at least enough to do more siding. And then we'll come back later and fill in a lot more horizontal slats to provide support for the cow, and then that's where the double door is gonna be, right there where the ladders are. So far, so good. We'll keep going. All right, it's 11 o'clock. Allison's fastening the siding while I'm trimming some of it. And the goal is to get the rest of the siding on. We're about, not quite halfway. It's Sunday, Mother's Day, and I've got my crazy hair done by Ellie. Thanks, Ellie. Um, and we are sitting inside the barn as it is right now. We're going to work on it some more tomorrow to hopefully get it ready for the cow. But we've got this back outside done here. So it's coming along. We just have to finish getting the two sides and some barn doors. You may not get the barn doors done before the cow comes. And um, we were planning on getting cement down on the ground. Hey, it is 6.30 in the morning and we have
have Nathan out here hard working, working on the third wall. The cow is coming today. They're leaving this morning from North Carolina and driving out here to Missouri. So we've got lots to do still, working on the rest of the fencing, the rest of the barn structure inside and outside and the floor, as much as we can get done. So I'm gonna get it all cleaned up. We're excited. Okay guys, this is getting so real. Look how close we are to being done. We just have that little panel left. Um, and then we have the full enclosure. A few more pieces, some more trimming down at the bottom. But gosh, for two days worth of work, I think it was Thursday we got all the material. It was day one, Friday, Saturday, we did some work on the shed or the barn and then um, and the fencing. And then today, Monday, we are working on getting it all finished. So um, we are really hoping, crossing our fingers, that we're doing this the right way. We've never had a gal before. It's really exciting and a little bit scary, but super exciting. We're, we're really looking forward to having a cow. Dad, What's your horse's this? name? Daddy, watch this. <laughs> I love it. Daddy, watch this. That's so cool, Cole. Whoa. What's the... Come Ta-da! We are well on our way. Nathan's done a good job putting the siding on. We've got some T-posts that we're going to um, dig down deeper just to reinforce so that she doesn't push directly up onto the barn. We've got our gates. We need to get some hardware. We need to clear out the floor and level it and put some sand and gravel and then some mats on top and some straw. I have got the T-post uh, slammed in, driven. Uh, they're all varying heights and depths because I don't care, <laughs> basically, <laughs> because I'm tired and these are hard work driving those in. So they will do their duty and um, we'll put some fencing right here and get the gate up. Got her straw for bedding. I just made my horse. Her name is Boogie. And um, this is her pad for playing stuff. In. This is her oh, um, collar. This is her tiara. Filling in some of the divots in the ground. She's trying to make it more level. I am spreading sand in the cattle pen. We're not really sure why. We just read that's what you're supposed to do. We don't really know how thick it's supposed to be. Probably supposed to be like an inch, but we got like a quarter inch. <laughs> okay, we've got sand on the left. This will be our milking area. And then we've got some straw on the right. We are on the home stretch. And we've got the mats in, the hay, the straw, the minerals. Nathan's making a shelf. Got our goat, our gate hung. Got our salt block. Got our water and then a handy dandy barley sack to try and keep the algae out. The fence is live, electric, and um, yeah. Now we are just doing last minute things. <sighs> Here we have our barn, mostly completed with outdoors, but we've got it all tidied up. We've got our feeding trough, we've got our spot for her to sleep, her stall. And things are up and put away, and we are super excited. She's coming in 45 minutes. So this is super, super fun. And that's the man that made it all happen. <laughs> Let me get you. How are you oh. feeling? Wish I had doors. <clears throat> and something over the roof to keep the rain out and finish the sides in more horizontal slats. And things on the roof to make the roof stronger and a stanchion. But it's, but it's a start. pretty good. Yeah. And a hayloft. We need a hayloft. What's this, in here, Mom? Amazing. Is this waddle? Well done. High five, people. High five. Is this waddle? We did it. 